and rolling. One thing that certainly makes cooking more fun than it already is, is adding lots of color. And of course, as you can see on this dish, that's exactly what we're doing here today. We're back here in the kitchen. I'm with Sujata and we're making another wonderful dish in preparation for Diwali, uh, celebrating everything South, South Asian, I should say. Um, what's this dish that we're making here today? Upma, and it is usually taken during the breakfast time or you can take it as a snack. Okay, so it's a it's a light, very a light, light dish, very light, very light. Uh, commonly eaten for a snack. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got a few uh, colorful ingredients here. What's this? I just want to point this out. What is this here? This is just I have uh, fried little onions in the butter. Okay, just for it garnishing. actually kind of looks like anchovies if you look I at know. it quickly. I, I was know. wondering. <laughs> so we got some fried onions. So what what do we start with okay. uh, to make this dish? We start with the butter, clarified butter. We okay. just put it. Say two teaspoons of butter. Okay, and this is on the stove top. On the stove top. Stove top preparation, and if, and what heat are we at? It's medium heat. We're on medium heat. heat. Okay, two teaspoons of clarified butter, and then we have all these. First, we put the. I love the spices. I love the spices this that are involved with in South Asian cooking. What's that? Mustard seed. Mustard seed. Which gives okay. Us pluttering sound. Okay. And then we have the onions. We can put the onion. And you're putting in about half a uh, half an say, onion, maybe. Uh, um, it is actually the sp small onions, the bulb, small bulbs. Okay. So I've taken two of them. Okay. And then even you can use the bigger ones. Say half of it, and chili according to your to your taste, taste, of course. If you like it hot or not so hot. Not. <laughs> and this is some lentil we specially put for upma. It is called as urad, urad dal. Okay. In Indian. In language. Indian, that's yeah. and this the is traditional uh, name, and those are raisins to make it little rich okay. and little sweet. Wonderful. And these Add are some the moisture to the dish as well. Yeah. And, and some cashews. Cashews. Excellent. And those are just dry, or I should and say raw. Raw, raw cashews. And yeah. then I add little to give a punch ginger. Ooh, yummy. Yeah, I mean, that's going to definitely bring out some of these flavors too. And then on medium heat, when the mustard starts spluttering, add two cups because I've taken one cup of semolina. Okay. So I add same measurement, two cups of water. And then you're going to let this simmer. Boil. Or sorry, you're going to bring it to a boil. Okay. Boil. And then and when it starts boiling, you add the semolina slowly when it starts boiling. Mm -hmm. And then when it starts thickening. You remove it from the fire and it's ready to and go. And you just let it set. Okay, so we don't exactly have the fire here. This is on the stovetop. But of course, we've got some finished finished dishes as well. Finished dishes. And this, and ladies this and gentlemen, has a colorful check that because out. I have added all the vegetables yeah. to give extra color. That's that is optional. Just gorgeous, of course, to your taste. But it, I mean, who wouldn't want to eat that? That looks delicious. delicious. Can we try some? Oh, yeah, sure. Let's try some. All in celebration of Diwali, of course. Are you all ready to, to celebrate Diwali? Oh, yeah. And you know, in Hinduism, actually, the Diwali, we light the diyas. That is, it symbolizes, like in Hinduism, we say darkness is ignorance. So we light diyas to destroy the darkness through knowledge. Wonderful. So that so is. Thank you for sharing that with us, Sujata. So for that is why we light the diyas around the house and mm -hmm. glitter the house, so that we have to remove the ignorance from the place. Exactly. Well, I'm going to follow in your footsteps here. <laughs> We're going to try this dish out here, but the Festival of Lights is November 5th, also known as Diwali. So if you're part of the South Asian community here in Hamilton or not, we hope you have a good one. Cheers, guys. We'll see you next time on Hamilton Life. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Is it spicy? No, it's okay. perfect. <laughs>